Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have well, some fun. Well, here we are once again. Uh, we've got uh, a, uh, I don't know, the difference between uh, real machine work, real uh, fabrication, and Chineseium crapola. This guy, I know this guy spent some big money on this splitter because this is a hell of a wedge that's going here and I'm guessing if the way the thing looks he probably doesn't have five or ten hours in this I mean and it's cast iron for one and it's hollow cast iron for another which means at some point or another this is gonna break but right now what we've got the problem we've got is uh, and let me bring you around bring you in closer <clears throat> so uh, what we've got is uh, uh, this thing runs up and down the uh, the slide and the wedge actually is the is the ram which uh, is just the opposite of what uh, the splitter I had which seemed to work really well but that that's beside itself uh, what we've got is um, he, he's got uh, a splitter that runs on a rail and uh, with a couple of gibs that run underneath it and here's your here's one gib here and uh, that that is adjustable you know you can put this the bolt in and tighten the bolt down until it adjusts up against the, the gib and kind of snugs down keeps this thing from rocking back and forth well he couldn't stop it from rocking back and forth and uh, he said, oh, this bolt, I, every time I tighten this bolt down, two minutes later, it comes loose again. Uh, you think? I mean, look at that. That's, uh, that's got three or four threads on it. And it's still just sloppy loose. Typical Chinese crapola. There, it gets a little bit tighter, but still, you can see it just wiggling all over the place. So, of course... You get a little vibration in on that, and uh, and you've got uh, problems. Now the other thing is, is if you'll notice this hole. Can you see that? Yeah, this hole is like right next to the edge. It's like they drilled it too close to the bottom. So, so you drop that gib in there, and it just sits right up against the back side of that gib which is, you know, I don't get it. The big no-no. I mean, I'm almost ready to just get rid of these, the, these holes and drill some other holes in there, except that these are fairly well centered here. And if I start moving them around, they're not gonna be centered. So I think what we're gonna do, and so what we have to do is, we got to get rid of those threads there. I mean, you know, come on, give me a break. So, and then the other thing, of course, is they didn't come back in and countersink that, uh, you know, and put a, a countersink surface in there. And so, so, of course, as soon as you tighten this bolt down, or the nut down, and you crank the nut, lock nut down, if it sits a little crooked, it's going to come loose in, you know, in no time at all. <clears throat> the other thing is, is there's not enough room here. It's like, the whole thing is a piece of crap. But... You know, the guy spent some, probably spent some pretty good sized money on this. So we're going to see if we can get it fixed up for him. And I don't know how this side is. This side's much tighter. Yeah, that bolt doesn't wiggle at all. But at the same time, 
it's the seat here is pretty much not existent it, and it's kicked to one side and this seat's kicked to the other side so what we've decided to do is we're going to come in and we're going to put we're going to oversize these holes and put a bigger bolt in now the problem is is that we're really close to the edge if we oversize these holes so um, what I'm hoping I can do is come in and we're going to take a measurement let's just take measurement C <coughs> I'm hoping I can set this into the mill, get this set up so that it's straight and level, and uh, and put a uh, mill bit in, and then move this this way a little bit, and have it drill down into this slightly off. And we what do we got? Four thirty. And 430, I'm sure, is a metric measurement. No, oh, 430 is 7/16. This is the size we're wanting to measure. What have we got here? <clears throat> Three seven zero. Oh. Now, that I'm sure is an entry. All right, well, we're going to come back once we get all of our little ducks in a row and uh, we'll get started. All right, on this. so I called my customer. Um, the problem is, is that, here I'm going to try to show you, is that these holes are too close to this edge here. And, uh, and if you look at the gib, Here's the gib. You can see that the bolt needs to be center. So the fact that it's too close tells me that these holes were put in the wrong place. And they just blew through it and ran a tap in there and this tap, this hole probably was, you know, a really dull tap and they just ran it in there and said, that's good enough, fine, let's just go so uh, that's what happens so what we're gonna do and I you know I talked to my customer and it's like well what do we do we can fill in these holes braze them in and then move our hole over but I I thought well what about if we just put the gibbs on the other side got a nice blank surface over here to work from and so I called him up and I says, is there any reason why having the gibbs on this side aren't are going to be a problem? And he says, well, you know, he went out and looked and he says, I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to put the gibbs on this side. <laughs> uh, so one thing we need to do is uh, get this thing to sit straight up and down and straight this way. And uh, one way I'm going to do that, can I do it? Ooh, let's see. Straightened out. So what I noticed is uh, there's two, there's three holes here. We can set up on this single hole here and it looks like it's just about perfect height wise Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we can get something from that. 
Let's come around this other side. Alright, well the whole thing is hanging on this. I'm thinking maybe I come in and put a either another bolt in there. That might work. Yeah, second bolt's going to make me feel a little more comfortable. And then this side is pretty good. We're going to come in and somehow figure out how to get this, this and this flat the same size. And then we have to get this right. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is pick this up first thing in the morning. Okay, well, it's the next morning. It's about 4 o'clock. Uh, the sun is uh, far from coming up. And this is Inauguration Day. So uh, I'm fairly excited about that whole thing being over <laughs> a little bit too much drama in my in my books but uh, hey we've got uh, this casting that we've got to drill out and uh, that's what's going on today for us uh, so we've got it kind of set up and uh, we're gonna bring in a little closer and and let's have a look at it All right, first thing we want to do is get this thing squared up this way. And uh, I think what we'll do is just take our shield off and square up to the back edge here. Uh, let's move it in a little bit or across. That looks pretty good. And so, you know, n nothing here is super accurate. It's just, it wants to be close. So we're eyeballing most of our, most of our settings. we want to get this surface and this surface here level could probably just do it with a veneer caliper Well, we're not going to exactly make it, though. Okay. That's not an option. Looks like it could be an option. And again, it's not anything that's super critical. We just want to make sure that we're somewhat level. And we're going by this flat here and that flat there. And I would say that we need to come this way a bit.
Okay, we are at 100. We are at 90 thousandths. Let's see what this side looks like. And we are at 60 thousandths on that side. <clears throat> Sixty-five. Well, sixty-five. It moved, but in the right direction. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we need to do is figure out where this hole is in connection with this. I think that's going to be pretty easy. Come in with my little mini square here. Let's see if we can get this thing to lay in. Another thing we want to do first is let's get some color on that. first line. And again, it doesn't really matter much one way or the other because the bolt is going to go through and it's going to hit the um, the uh, gib and that's a pretty sloppy deal. Although I'm looking at it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's about halfway right there. Okay. All right, so now what we have to do is measure from here to here and then add a certain amount to get this thing to center out. And you can see that it's pretty far from center as it sits. It's sitting right on that edge. So if we measure from that place to that center there, I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere in the 250 mark. That looks pretty good. So I'm thinking what we do is just go from here and scribe it and then scribe the other side, give ourselves a little bit more. And there we are. That's centered. Now, how does this thing work here? This is pretty level. I mean, I can see it about five or ten thousandths, which is not critical one way or the other, remember. And so our cross hatch is right about there. But that doesn't look right. Yeah plenty of room out here on the edge 
whereas right on this one it it was it was going to be so close to that edge it was going to come close to piercing through so I like that we can just take this measurement here and transfer it over yep looks good all right so our center punch and let me get my cheater glasses on the money that, that one's got to be steered a little bit there we go looks good Let's get rid of this chuck. <coughs> Bring in this much shorter chuck. And hopefully it's going to be short enough. No, maybe not. Oh, just barely. but it is going to make it so that's all that counts let's put a pointer in here Get that sucker centered out. That looks pretty good. Okay, we got our hole drilled. Now what we want to do is countersink it before we uh, thread it. So, we're going to run fairly slow, <coughs> come down, We gotta slow it down. All right, that looks pretty good. So now let's take the bit out or the uh, put our chuck back in. Get our seven sixteenths. Oh, nope, check back in.
tighten it up come back to zero crank her up Nice thread. There we go. Okay, let's bring it around to the other side. Okay, the one thing we have left is this is three quarters, uh, which is uh, seven five, and this is seven seventy. So we want to just take and bottom out this nut and just take off the corners and get a nice square surface on the on the bottom. So we'll go over to the little lathe and see if we can do it there. This is a grade 8 bolt, so we're not sure. All right, so we've got our uh, nut. Now what we need to do is get it squared up. And that's not always easy to do. So what I've done is brought the bolt in, crank it up, See where it's out, which is about there. Getting close. There we are. Nice and square. Okay. <clears throat> Tighten her up. Take the bolt out. And we need to come in with a insert. Even that, I'm not sure is going to work. All right, now all we're doing is just squaring up that edge or that surface. Now 
once we get out here, we just dive in a little bit. Now, let's get out a little further. And that should do it. gives us just a little bit of a shoulder for that to rest on. Put this on and everybody should be happy. All right, well, uh, we need to put our our uh, slider guides back in place, which is going to go right there. And I believe these go here. Question is, oh, I see. Okay, they slide in afterwards. We'll get rid of some of this grease. Okay. There. And here. And there. Before we put that on, let's make sure these things are going to function. And I'm sure they are. But nothing more embarrassing than handing it to the customer and uh, having them bring it back and say, oh, it didn't work. So. That should do it. Yep. And it looks like it's hitting just right. Everybody's happy. All right, where did the nut go? I know I had three. Huh. Yeah, there it is.
Okay, another project out the door. Uh, the bolts were pretty easy to, to do. Uh, we spun this thing around and, and did it from the other side. Uh, and we got a nice snug fit. I think uh, my customer is going to be happy. Hey, this is Nick Collier, checking out.